object to study that is called the peninsular plateau. It is also called the Deccan plateau. This region lies to the south of the northern plain and it has an average height of 300 to 760 meter and slope down from west to east. Can you observe there? Peninsula, a piece of land surrounded by water body on three sides. So in the previous, in the beginning chapter also we studied peninsula means three sides by water and one piece of uh, one side by land is called as peninsula. And this region is surrounded by sea. There are three seas that is Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal. And below the Tropic of Cancer that is called as the Peninsula Plateau or Deccan Plateau. The Peninsula Plateau which it have its districts like Malwa Plateau in the north and Deccan Plateau in the south comes the sign. The Malwa, the Malwa Plateau is bounded by Aravalli Hills and in the northwest the sign we have India Range marks its sound, southern boundary to the south Vindya lines to the Deccan Plateau. The next we have here Western Ghats. You can observe this picture in your textbook also children. Western Ghats that run along the western edge of the Deccan Plateau. This is the Deccan Plateau and this is the Western Ghats here. They are continuous. Okay. It begins from here. So they are continuous still here. Chain of high mountains. So, where we have our mountains here, Sahyadri in the north and the Nilgiris, Anaimalai and the Cardamom Hills here it comes in the south region. The highest peak here in the western Ghats is called Anaimudi. The range of this Anaimudi is 2695 meters. It is also called the highest point in south India. Next, let us move on to Eastern Ghats. So, here to this side we have Eastern Ghats. They are not continuous. They are discontinuous. They are not like continuous of Western Ghats. They are discontinuous, low ranges. They run through northeast. Okay, this is north and this part is east. Till you are only Eastern Ghats here. To southwest, this is the south. And this is the west. Along the eastern flank of the peninsula plateau, they are intersected by many rivers. They are intersected by many rivers. Both the eastern and the western Ghats merge in, this is a point called Nilgiri Hills. So this both meet to a point that is called the Nilgiri Hills. It is also called Blue Mountains, which are those? That is Nilgiri Hills. It is also called Blue Mountains. The peninsula plateau area is watered by very big rivers like Godavari, Mahanadi, Krishna and Kaveri. Which starts flowing into the Bay of Bengal. So here we can find all those rivers. And Narmada and Tapi. Only these two rivers are called as west flowing rivers towards Arabian Sea. Here there are four and here it is two. Narmada and Tapi. Here we have four rivers. West flowing rivers and east flowing rivers here. After this, now let us study about the coastal plain and islands. So here when we see to the India map here, physical narrow plains, okay, Arabian Sea and border, the peninsula plateau, the eastern coastal plain, here where we have the Mahanadi, Godavari and the Krishna towards the side. The eastern coastal plain are also called Northern Sirkas in the north, their title, and the Coromandel Coast in the south. The Western Coastal Plain are also known as the Konkan Coast. Then in the north we have Malabar Coast and beautiful beaches that lies towards Western Coastal Plain that's called as the Konkan Coast. And on the eastern coastal plain, that is called the Coromandel Coast, Mahabalipuram is famous for its beaches and ancient temples. The western coastal plains are marked by salt marshes, that is in northwest, in Gujarat, 
Kochi, it's a very popular port on the western coastal plain. Malabar coast is also known as the queen of Arabian Sea. This, okay? And let us come back, let us study about the islands here. So, where we have a two islands here, one is called the Lakshadweep Islands and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, the two groups here. Southwest and the southeast, where we are going to study about the islands here, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, where we can find, we can find that on Arabian Bay of Bengal, that consists of 204, 204 islands. Islands in Bay of Bengal that consist of 204 islands with hills and narrow valleys. The Nicobar Island that consists of 19 islands, with some are covered by corals and some by hills. Next is called the Lakshadweep Islands. These islands are called the coral islands. Only few islands are in, inhabited by people here. And next that is called the Lakshadweep in Sanskrit, which is called as 100,000 islands. See how beautifully it's mentioned. And India, the volcano of the barren land is located in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands here. Next comes here the Great Indian Desert. The, great, the desert region of India is located in the west of the northern plain in western. It's called Rajasthan. It's known as the Thar Desert. The feature of this desert because of sandy surface and few hills and shifting sand dunes, it extends into Pakistan and it is bounded on the east by the Aravalli range and on the south by the run of Kutch and on the west in this river. There are several basins containing stationery that is called the salt water. Sambar Lake and India's largest salt water lake that is called as Sambar Lake. So, your children, in this topic we have discussed about the physical division, about the Himalayas, islands, and here you are going to refer those maps. You are going to draw the India map and you are going to locate the states and capitals. Thank you, children.